Hey, how are you doing? My name is Shu. So we consume a lot of content every day, and it's nice to have a tool to help us remember the things we see. I personally love keeping a collection of the things I find interesting online, so I can look back on them later. So here are some of the best apps as your digital knowledge companions. All right, the first one is My Mind. My Mind is kind of like a pioneer in using AI to organize your bookmarks. It's been around for years now, and I think it's one of the most useful apps for saving and organizing bookmarks and notes.、Um, since My Mind was probably the first one to take this approach of using AI to help you organize your bookmarks, it influenced a lot of other apps that came out after it, which I will talk about in a bit. Essentially, you can save anything online to My Mind using its Browser extension or the mobile app. After that, it will scan the thing you saved and tag it with a bunch of keywords, which will make it easier for you to find later. Also, you can see a brief summary of each thing you saved. However, this is just my experience, but this tagging isn't so accurate. The keywords can be very random and not so relevant to the thing you saved. Also, an issue I had with my mind is that oftentimes I couldn't find what I was looking for. I know I saved the thing, but it didn't appear in the search, which was very frustrating. So I stopped using it eventually.、Um, but you know, nonetheless, it's a great tool. Plus, it's been a while since I was using it, so I'm sure it's gotten a lot better since then. It starts around. Seven dollars a month. Okay, the second one is my memo. It's probably safe to say that it was inspired by my mind, but it's actually a great alternative. Like my mind, you can save links with the browser extension or the mobile app. Then AI analyzes the content and generates insights and summaries. But what's different is that it has AI Chat and something called MemoCast. AI Chat is like your own personal librarian. You can just ask it what information you saved about a certain topic, and it will give you the answer instead of having to find it manually. I like this a lot because it saves a lot of time. Another cool thing is MemoCast. It's a unique feature I've never seen before. Basically, it turns the content you saved into a, a bite-sized podcast, so you can listen to it when you are on the go or doing something else. It addresses the issue that you save many articles to your reading list, but you never get to read them. If you're in the habit of listening to podcasts, this is a great feature. The only problem with this app is that they only have an iOS app at the moment. So if you use an Android phone, you might want to wait a little bit or stick with the other apps. They have a free plan, and the pro plan starts at、uh, $10 a month. Okay. The third one is Recall. This is for people whose priority is to learn new ideas,、uh, memorize, or remember what they consumed. By saving things to Recall, you can see not just their summaries but also relevant concepts and how they are linked to other things in your knowledge base. And if you see an interesting idea, you can turn it into a, a new card and fill it with information. It works on pretty much anything online, from articles to videos. The summaries are quite extensive too. It's quite fun to see the graph getting bigger and bigger. Also, as the name suggests, Recall uses Active Recall to help you retain what you read. For example, if you see an article or YouTube video that you want to remember, you can have AI generate some questions or flashcards for you. Then, whenever you have time, you can review them like you do with flashcard apps. Alternatively, you can just type out what you want to know in the search bar, and Recall will pull information from Wikipedia, I think, and tie into a new card. It comes with a, a bunch of links to other concepts, so you can dive deeper if you want. This helps you not just keep your favorite bookmarks, but also remember what you learned, which I think is really important. And I think it's also useful when you need to quickly learn something new. You can Google the thing you want to study and save some articles and YouTube videos into Recall, and see the summaries and、uh, generate questions. Then you can review them to memorize the information. It has a free plan, and the pro plan is around eight dollars a month. Another great companion for studying is Shortform, who is kindly sponsoring this video today. It is a tool that I use every day to learn new ideas on different topics. They have a huge collection of detailed summaries for more than a thousand nonfiction books covering topics such as productivity, business, psychology, and more. I've tried so many book summary apps, but Shortform is my favorite. What I love most is how the guys offer expert breakdowns and perspectives that are exclusive to them. The Shortform team provides insightful commentary that helps you deepen your understanding of the book's concepts as well as discover relevant topics. To make it easier to deep dive on topics, they curated collections of the best books for different topics like world history, parenting, and、uh, changing careers. 
Personally, I love their collection on learning how to learn, which was really helpful to know various strategies and tips to study effectively. If you don't have much time, they also have master guides, which are like summaries of the best books on a particular topic. This way, you can learn important ideas from different authors in one place. You can try out Shortform for free right now. Just go to shortform.com slash shuomi for a free trial plus 25% off of an annual subscription. That's basically three months free. Okay, back to the video. I'd say the king of the bookmarking apps is Raindrop. It doesn't have fancy AI features, but it's cheap, easy to use, fast, and reliable. The saving process is very smooth, both on the desktop and mobile. You can also choose which collection or folders you want to save to. What's cool is that Raindrop can analyze the link you're saving and suggest suitable collections to add the link to. Organizing links into folders can be, you know, tedious, so this is a huge time saver, in my opinion. Unlike the other apps, Raindrop won't give you summaries for the links you save, but it does save the entire web pages so you can see them directly within the app without going to the original link. This is also useful when the web page gets taken down because you can still read the content. I think my mind has a similar feature where it saves the entire web page when you save the link. Another reason why you might want to choose Raindrop over the others is that it has abundant integrations with various apps and services. You can connect it to Readwise, Zapier, and many more. I actually have it connected to my note taking app so that when I save a link to Raindrop, the link will be automatically added to my note tab. I explained this in more detail in my previous video. so. Uh, check that out if you're curious. Okay, another personal favorite is Fabric. It's similar to my memo. It comes with an AI assistant that helps you find what you're looking for in your digital library. What I really like about Fabric is that when you see an item you saved, it lets you see similar ones as well. This has been very useful for me in discovering things that I forgot that I had. It's great for serendipity. For example, when I'm making this type of video, I can go to one of the apps that comes up in my head, then click on similar to see what other apps I can use for the video. It's a big time saver. Also, another reason why I like Fabric is the integration with other apps. It's still relatively new, so most of them are under development, but I'm really excited about what they have planned for the future. And being able to automatically save your screenshots is also really cool. When you take a screenshot, it appears in your Fabric library, then you can leave a comment or use the similar feature to find the things that you might find useful. It has a free plan and the pro plan starts around $6 a month. A board is uh, a clever app that uses AI to build boards to organize different things. They are stacks, which are like folders, and then tags to categorize the items. You can also choose how you want to see the items you saved, such as cards, Kanban, or a table. This looks like a, a pretty standard app, but what's different about it is that its AI can build these boards for you. For example, if you want to curate ideas for your wedding, you can just type that in and it will build a board for you, including tags and folders. It also populates your board with ideas and if you want more, you can have it to generate new ones. Of course, it's also possible to save things you find online using the browser extension or the mobile app. While I was reviewing this app, I used it for collecting and organizing ideas for many things like gift ideas, places to go, my travel plan for Korea, movies to watch, and uh, apps to try and it was really fun and easy experience thanks to the AI features. It's a pretty young product so I believe it's still free at the moment. Okay, hear me out. I think Pinterest is underrated and some people think it's for girls but I think it's such a great tool for everyone. Especially its recommendation algorithm is incredible. You can save your favorite links and photos to boards and they will align your interest and find more relevant stuff for you. These recommendations are so good and I find so many useful things there. Also, the UI is super clean and easy to use. I love the animation when saving things to a board. It's a you know, small thing, but it makes it really satisfying and fun to use. The only annoying thing might be the ad that you see here and there, but if you have an ad blocker on your phone, they disappear. For me, I always have a VPN on all the time, which makes all the ads go away, so it has never been a, a problem for me. All right, if you want to see apps for organizing your life and work, check this video out. And uh, thank you so much for watching until the end. I really appreciate that. And um, see you in the next one. Bye.